hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by today so if this is your first time stopping by my channel you're welcome my name is modebe gabella ifoma and i am a christian youtuber based in abuja nigeria so today i'm going to be talking about something that has to do with marriages so um you maybe just got married or i mean you've been married for a while and you're wondering you've been asking yourself okay why the sudden quarrels the sudden change in attitude now i'm not going to say you should excuse bad behavior i'm not saying you should say okay there are no reasons to quarrel but i think you should also be aware that demons attack marriages now they attack marriages because when you have a good home when you have a peaceful home when you have a balanced home your children grow up better and they are happier you're happy your husband is happy i mean nobody is having any issues right like we are all progressing the way we should progress there is great power in unity so the devil will come and fight your unity and i also want you to be aware that the devil is very very active so how do you know when demons are attacking your marriage and it's very important so that you wouldn't just run off you wouldn't just say oh my this man is just so so um so senseless and and all you know one of the things you would observe when you, your marriage is under attack is constant quarrels over very little things i mean you just don't understand it but you guys are just quarreling biting each other over very little things you're always getting angry i mean like the anger is like that anger cannot just end you should you should be able to you know um get angry of course but you know you shouldn't be the type that goes for a very very long time and begins to escalate you know so you need to be aware and whenever you begin to sense those issues it may be you're the man or the woman whosoever senses it first the first thing you should do is to start casting out that demon in your home begin to take authority and begin to speak into the atmosphere in your house you need to know that something is up if you guys just quarrel over little things oh shoo oh this oh that yes yeah, some people say these things pass over time but i also want you to understand that whenever your peace is stolen whenever you don't have peace it is not of god because god's peace should dwell in your home so you should always speak the peace of god into every situation that's the number one thing you will notice quarrels little things little little uh, quarrel little sh quarrel okay Another thing that you, the second thing that you would observe is unnecessarily irritation. Like you just don't understand, but this person just starts irritating you suddenly. They just like, I can't even stand you, you know, like just, it's unnecessary. It's not like you, maybe you guys are going through a particular process or something, but you just, they're just irritated about your your spouse what 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 should cause you to be irritated about your spouse you need to go down on your knees and pray and cast and bind and send that demon out let it go back to the pit of hell where it's coming from and the third thing you would also observe is lost you know see for to be frank with you lost is a spirit right it's a demon and it can come against your home it can come against your marriage and you just find yourself suddenly thinking about somebody else thinking about another man thinking about another woman thinking about um thinking about pornography thinking about um you know different ways that different people or you start Whenever you see loss being displayed, whenever you're seeing lost, you know, your mind, you're always thinking about um, other other men, thinking about other other women, or thinking about pornography, or thinking about, um, you know, sexual acts that are not godly. Um, you need to know that you, your mind and your marriage is under attack. Because once you allow the devil, once you allow those, those the, the demons, once you allow them come in, they begin to take over. Okay, they begin to take over. And if you don't stop them, they can do, they can cause a whole lot of havoc. They can cause a whole lot of havoc. And we need to understand that we are above them. So get out. I mean, leave my marriage, leave my home. You're not supposed to be here. So find your way <laughs> all right and the next thing you would also observe okay next thing you would observe is that you you don't just understand but you're finding it very difficult to forgive you you don't understand it but forgiving your spouse just becomes like a, a big task then you're under an attack ensure that you you cast that devil of unforgiveness out out 
You can't, you can't just not be forgiven because marriage is made up of very good forgivers, especially two people who know how to forgive. So you need to forgive your spouse, no matter whatever they, no matter what they've done to you that is wrong. You have to forgive them. And how do you do that? By forgiving them. But now you can't forgive them, and you're dwelling in malice, and you're dwelling in, um, you're dwelling in, in um, what, what, what word will I use now? In you know, a very tensed environment, then you should know that something is wrong. Now, the next thing you would also observe is that you would pray less in your home. You're no longer praying. Maybe your spouse is no longer praying or you yourself, yourself, you're no longer praying or you, both of you are not even praying together as a family anymore. Now, it's everybody that subscribes to praying together, but you will notice that the prayer, prayer, power in your home begins to drop and once the prayer power begins to drop i mean once there is no more prayer going on it means that you're open to the enemy so it's important that you keep your prayer going you know don't stop praying don't stop committing your home don't stop committing your house don't stop communicating with the father because i mean that is your source of strength that is your place of safety that is the safety nest that you have as a child of god and if you're out of the nest i mean if the fire comes down what 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 is it how do you overcome? So it's important that you keep that fire burning. And now the next thing you would also observe when your home is under an attack. Guys, this one is that sometimes you will never want to be in the gathering of believers. You'll be like going to church becomes like a chore. You know, especially going to church with your spouse, it becomes like a chop. It becomes like one, uh, must I be in church? Must I go to church? Some people will say, oh, I mustn't even be go to, but you know that, that that has always been your lifestyle. Your service to the Lord, your service to the kingdom has always been your lifestyle. And suddenly you're just like, you're not even interested. You don't even want to be there. You don't even want to go, especially with your spouse. And you're like, I beg, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't even want to go. So if you're beginning to notice that, then something is wrong. So um, I hope I've been able to um, help you think, you know, help you go through what, help you um, clarify whatever it is that you're observing in your marriage or in your home. Ensure that you kick out negative thoughts. I mean, they always come. There's nobody that doesn't get attacked with negative thoughts. They always come. They're like birds. They just keep flying right around. But if you pay attention to them, then they might just patch they might just patch and begin to have conversations with you. And from there, other things begin to happen. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time subscribing by my channel, please ensure you subscribe. I am a faith blogger. I blog everything. I will vlog or YouTuber. I, <laughs> I make videos about things that has to do with our faith or your faith. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Bye.